What's up everybody, it's Eli here from Treefall Studios and we just released Tilting Tiles The Ultimate Tilt Remix. Today I'm going to be making a video diving into the Remix Edition, talk about what changed from the original to the new one, maybe make this kind of like a devlog series post launch just to continue promoting the game so everyone can totally understand all of the new content that is in this game and how it differs from the original game. Before we get started, I gotta give a shout out to everybody who supports Treefall Studios on Patreon.com. Uh, I gotta give a personal shout out to Carmen Red, Overhyped Gamer, and Shark and Minnow. Thanks for what you do for Treefall Studios on Patreon.com. We couldn't do what we do without you. If you guys are interested in checking out our Patreon page, links will be in the description below. All right, guys, let's jump into the game. All right, everybody, here we are inside the game, and we're gonna be taking a look at the title screen first. Silly me, I noticed as I started uh, booting this up, I don't have that much save data. So we're gonna be taking a look at some of the changes in World 1, and I will be releasing multiple videos uh, post-launch to support this game, to do a little bit more marketing in case you guys haven't seen it and haven't checked it out. All right, guys, so let's run over all of the changes here on the title screen. As you can see, the Tilting Tiles logo remains the same as the original game. However, it has the Ultimate Tilt Remix logo underneath it. Uh, the background is now changed. The stage layout of the title screen is a little bit different. It's a little bit bigger, has a couple more items on there. The original stage layout for the title screen did not have any towers in the distance. Now there are towers in the fog hiding at the back sides of the screen. Uh, definitely gives it a little bit more atmosphere, I think. Also, you can see right here, we're gonna talk about it in just a second when we go to the menu. Uh, it's pretty cool. The whirlwind particles, which a lot of people complain that were hard to see in the original game, now emit light and they glow with a little bit of bloom on there. So they look a whole lot better, I think. It just totally gives the game a different feel, um, just much more alive and vibrant. Speaking of vibrant, if you can see, uh, if you pull this up and directly look at it uh, compared to the original title screen, I'll probably throw that up on the screen. You can see that the colors are completely different. Uh, the fog got a little bit of change in the color. The lighting got some change in both like the sunlight and the ambient light. Um, also, the post-processing effects that I'm running on the color grading filters, I changed that just ever so slightly. So you can see that there's a little bit more colors and a little bit more vibrancy to this level. However, it still retains that same color scheme and that same feeling as the original game, but I think that this looks a whole lot better and the presentation looks a lot better. So when you press X to go into the menu, you can see that the Ultimate Tilt Remix does a cool little slide and that the word tilt actually tilts because the words look like they're in tilting tiles basically and does a little animation and then the remix knocks it back into place and then it settles back down. Another change on the title screen, I changed the color of the menu text to white. It used to be gray. It was a little hard to see when there was so much going on in the background for this level uh, versus the original game and I think the white is easier to read. And let's talk about the blur real quick. Since we are just talking about the lights on the whirlwind particles, man does it look cool when they are blurred like that. It looks like some kind of movie screen effect like fireflies in the background. Looks super super cool. Uh, so all that kind of stuff is making this game just look just all that much better with a little bit more polish. When we click on stage select, here's a big thing that changes um, the stage select since, you know, obviously I was going to have to redo all the levels since the levels were different. You know, I was going to have to redo the images of the thumbnails for all 60 levels. Uh, I mean, the original 55 plus the new five. So there's 60 in this game. So since I was doing that anyways, I decided to completely redesign it. Used to be a circle and you would see the level thumbnail in a circle. Now it is a diamond, which is more in line with the tilting tile and the square theme for most of this game. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll go back, show you the how to play. Um, basically, there's a little bit of a change here. It still shows you the same tutorial text, but it tells you, hey, this is the remix edition for those of you who played the original game. Now you can tilt, it tells you how to tilt. 
you know, in case you didn't realize what was going on with this game, a little bit of a how to play changes it up. I'll pop into stage one and show you a little bit of the changes here. So not every level has a um, completely stage layout redesign. So like for instance, most of the game, like this level is redesigned. The actual puzzle is redesigned. There's a different amount of items to collect. They are placed in different places. You have different special moves. None of these special moves were available in level one of world one in the last game. And the move counter is different. The original level was eight moves. This is nine moves. So like you can see everything has been redone. Every level has been redesigned by hand and tested to make sure it was fun and challenging based on the original level design. However, not every level was capable of having a fun redesign in it with tilt added. So some of the levels had to get basically stage layout redesigns where there are new geometry, blocking off sections, adding whole new sections, changing sections, doing all that kind of thing, uh, especially World 3, because if you think about this, this game basically is based on the original game. It's a more difficult experience basically for those players who have already played the original game. If you did not know how the original game functioned, in World 1 you learned how to double jump, diagonal move, and use whirlwinds and bridges. In World 2 you built upon all of those uh, puzzle pieces and you learned how to do a teleport. And then in World 3, it built upon the teleport system, continued doing those puzzles with the whirlwinds and bridges, but then you learned how to tilt and you learned how to slide on ice, which made unbelievably complicated and awesome puzzles towards the end of the game. You slowly built up your experience and you learned the world of tilting tiles and you learned how to play the game over the course of the game. This game basically takes all that knowledge doesn't start you back at the beginning. It acts like you, the tile, the tilting tile, has been through the ringer. You've been through the whole game. You're a veteran tilting tiles player, and now you're starting back at the very beginning, and all the levels have been redesigned to incorporate all of those moves from level one. So you can see you can actually tilt now on level one. There's diagonal moves, there's double moves, all that kind of stuff. So basically, you got to figure out these more difficult puzzles on what to do and how to solve them. I guess I can solve level one for you guys here. You know, you can see like for this item, there's no way to get it unless you tilt. So that's one of your tilt moves. But for these other items, you can actually, instead of wasting a tilt move and then moving, you can use this diagonal move here to move two spaces and collect that item and save a tilt move. You gotta grab that with a tilt. You can jump over here with a double and you can come over here and grab that. And that's how you solve level one. So if you see, that's a whole lot more difficult than the original game. And it just makes for a blast. So this level, level two, is also the same uh, stage layout with a brand new level design. Um, it's gonna be really awesome. This game, I'm really proud of it. It's really, really long. I would say that it would take most people on average five hours to complete the game. Some of the puzzles are really, really tricky. Um, three hours, like, you know, if you're a pretty skilled puzzle player and if you are really, really good at tilting tiles, the first game, you've played it all, you know exactly what you're getting into. You know, one to two hours is probably your completion time if you're like a beast. Um, there's a whole lot more to it. This game has all 55 levels from the original game, excluding the original bonus levels. All 55 levels completely remixed with new lighting, new um, environment changes, new stage layouts, new move counts, new uh, special moves that you can do, and redesigned levels. All of World 3 basically had to be redesigned, you know, as you could tilt in World 3 originally, all of those layouts got redesigned to basically be tougher puzzles than the original game. Um, so there's a whole lot to it. And then once you get past the first 55 remix levels, there's actually a new world with five new, larger, difficult levels that includes a triple teleport system, which is building on the teleport system of the original game. In Worlds 2 and World 3, you could only go up to two teleports. So now there's more places that you can get lost, stuck, and you really have to figure out where 
you need to go. So I hope you guys are looking forward to playing this game. It is out and available now on PlayStation. It's a timed exclusive on PlayStation. Uh, it will be coming to Steam later, possibly Xbox. If you're brand new, you're just checking out this video and you've never even heard of Tilting Tiles, the original game is available on Steam and PlayStation and soon to be releasing on Xbox. So there's a lot of places to play it. Uh, for the amount of content uh, that we've got in these games, they're both $4.99. I think the price is definitely worth it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, have you played Tilting Tiles? Have you played Tilting Tiles Ultimate Tilt Remix? Uh, what are you thinking about the changes uh, from the original game to this game? Uh, do you think the graphics look better? Do you think you're more excited for the more difficult stage layouts? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. I think I'm going to make a couple more videos to kind of keep promoting this game. Um, this is a, basically a post-launch devlog series showing you the changes changes and showing you dev plays of the game. I really miss doing devlogs. Um, they're a great marketing tool and they also are really good at community building and get everyone excited and hanging out together at the prospect of a brand new game release. Um, so I will be jumping back into those uh, with my next set of games that I am going to be working on. I had a whole lot of fun doing the ones for Maze and the Perplexing Orb. Those were longer devlogs that spanned you know, almost the course of a year. So I'm going to be trying to start that back up. But for this, I'm at least going to launch a couple post devlogs. Uh, basically, let me know what you guys think about that idea. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone.